two massive explosions minutes apart, rocking the city of Kerman, Iran. The blast killing more than 100 people, hurting dozens more, and leaving countless people running for safety. It happened during a commemoration ceremony for General Qasem Soleimani. Near his gravesite, thousands marched in procession. Moments later, the area leveled, Iranian state media calling it a terrorist attack. Soleimani, the former head of the Revolutionary Guard's elite force, is responsible for the deaths of many U.S. troops. The U.S. took him out with a targeted drone strike in 2020. Video shows the second explosion happening 15 minutes after the first. The AP reports a delayed second explosion is often used by militants to target emergency personnel responding to the scene to inflict more death. Screams of people trying to escape could be heard on state TV. Officials say some people were hurt scrambling from the scene. No group immediately claimed responsibility. Iran, which supports Hamas, Hezbollah, and Yemen's Houthi rebels, has many enemies who could be behind the assault, including exiled groups, militant organizations, and state actors. The deadly incident comes as Iranian-backed groups have intensified confrontation with Israel and the U.S. as the war in Gaza continues. Soleimani was the architect of Iran's regional military operations. He's hailed as a national icon among supporters of the country's theocracy. Soleimani also helped secure Syrian President Bashar Assad's government after the 2011 Arab Spring protest. The uprisings against Assad eventually turned into war, still raging on. The general also killed U.S. troops during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, arming militants with roadside bombs, killing service members. Following the attacks, American officials called for his death. A drone strike launched by the Trump administration eventually killed Soleimani after escalating incidents followed America's 2018 unilateral withdrawal from the Iran nuclear deal. The polarizing military figure has drawn large processions in the past. During his funeral, a stampede broke out in Kerman, killing 56 people and injuring more than 200.